Well, today is the day. As you all know, the Iowa caucus takes place tonight, and we will find out for the first time in the 2020 Democratic Party primary who actually will be receiving some pledged delegates. Um, now, I am incredibly nervous. It feels like there's a million butterflies in my stomach. Um, I don't think I'll have much of an appetite. And it's not necessarily because I don't feel, you know, confident. I am confident going into this Bernie Sanders is very much the front runner. However, I am cautiously optimistic because nothing is a foregone conclusion yet. And, you know, it, this is the point in time where you really like you have a lot of questions in your head. There's a lot of uncertainty and it kind of leads to self-doubt. Like I'm thinking, did we do enough? Did I do enough? You know, will everything that we've been doing pay off? Can we actually win? What if we don't win by a big enough margin? And it's not just Bernie supporters who are feeling it. I'm sure it's everyone who's feeling it. But now is the time where everything that we did, um, we're going to see if it paid off. Um, and that is really exciting, but terrifying at the same time. Because, I mean, if we win and we win big, Bernie will be public enemy number one, right? There's already stories about John Kerry wanting to jump in, talking about it openly to stop Bernie Sanders. So we'll have to work even harder. And if he doesn't win, uh, God forbid, then we'll have to work even that much more harder. And the narrative shifts. So, you know, I, I just want everyone to know going into this that as you sit there and you watch the results come in and you probably refresh every five seconds, know that you're not alone and we're all doing it. So I'm not just making, you know, this video to say, hey guys, we're all nervous. I wanted to um, bring you some practical information. First and foremost, understand that it's not over until it's over. So if you are in Iowa, let me stress this. You have to caucus for Bernie. Not only that, bring your family, bring your friends, Make this something that you commit to all evening. Don't go anywhere and make sure that you check where your location is because um, I'll, I'll post this link at the bottom of the uh, description box. As Aaron Stigel points out on uh, Twitter, he's a member of Sunrise Boise. Important, I just got off the phone with a Bernie volunteer who said that caucus locations are being switched in Iowa and particularly in places where Bernie is polling well. Make sure to communicate with other Bernie voters in your area about location updates. Now, this was confirmed by someone who lives in Iowa and is currently putting up signs at old locations so people who haven't seen the change know where to go. And again, that link that I will provide for you in the description box will make it easy. You just put in your zip code and it will tell you the most up to date place of where you go to caucus. Now, at first, you know, this was seemingly nefarious. And I'm not, you know, of the belief that the establishment is above doing dirty tricks. I don't trust them and we should all be skeptical. But the reason why they are changing uh, the venues, um, even up until this point when it's so close to caucus time, is because they are expecting a higher turnout in those Bernie areas. So the venues that they had, like, you know, schools and churches, that's not going to be enough to house all of these people. So in a way, this is like a double-edged sword. We want high turnout because that will benefit us. That's how we win. But at the same time, you know, we have to make sure that these venues are able to accommodate and that can lead to some confusion, right? So make sure that you are, you know, coordinating with your fellow, uh, you know, caucus goers in Iowa. If you are in Iowa and understand that you have to stay there, make sure that you come prepared and make sure you document everything. I cannot stress this enough. Don't trust that the establishment will act in good faith. I mean, we don't know what to expect from the establishment, but we have to go into this assuming that they're going to try to somehow screw us or screw Bernie Sanders. I mean, think about this last time. In 2016, Hillary Clinton won all six coin tosses. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that means that they rigged the coin toss process, but, you know, it would have been nice to document that. So if it goes to a coin toss, film it. Make sure that you come prepared and you know what to expect. This is a commitment. This is going to be something that you're going to have to do all night. And look, I just want you to know that um, every one of us who are not in Iowa are really counting on all of you. I mean, the movement rests squarely on your shoulders, so no pressure, but we have to win Iowa. We have to win Iowa. Best case scenario, 
we win and Bernie is one of the few candidates that reaches that viability threshold since there's so many people. Now, if that does happen, that will be great news, but you're going to see a really huge effort by the establishment, Democratic Party elites, to get Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar or whoever to drop out so that way they consolidate that centrist vote. So I don't want you to get cocky after the results and I don't want you to be too down after the results of Iowa if it doesn't go our way. Just know that this is the beginning of a really long and just taxing mentally and physically journey that we're all starting together. We're going to get some results today. We're going to find out who's the first winner of a primary. And we can get a lot of momentum. But either way, I need us to all stay grounded. I need you to understand that our eye it has got to be kept on the prize. So no matter what happens, we stay focused. We keep pushing forward. And immediately, we switch gears to focus on uh, New Hampshire and the Super Tuesday states. Just make sure that Understand this This isn't make or break either way. A lot of things can change. This is going to be a long, arduous process, but it will be nice to finally see what happens. But going into this, I feel good. Nervous, that's to be expected, but good. Now, I will release a video immediately after we know the results. Um, I'm going to wait until it's official. Like I, I would ideally like to wait until all of the precincts are reporting. That might not necessarily be practical because some precincts take forever. I remember back in 2016, um, it, it was really difficult to figure out who won. And ultimately, it was a st statistical tie. Hillary Clinton ended up getting like 0.2% higher than Bernie Sanders. But, you know, um, it would go back and forth between them. There were a couple of precincts that I don't think fully reported until the next day, if I'm remembering correctly. So just know that I will release a video immediately after I know, but I know for sure. Like, I don't want to just, you know, uh, preemptively put out a video, Bernie won or Bernie, you know, got X amount of delegates. I'm going to wait until we know for sure the results because um, there's going to be a lot of information. The internet will be buzzing. Um, so that's, that's my game plan. So look, Let's do it. Uh, I'm certainly ready. I am ready to um, see the results, and I know you are too. And I, look, at this point, I'm rambling because, again, that nervous energy. You know, um, it, it's this is a big deal. This is huge. It's not everything, but this can really help us in terms of momentum. So, um, good luck to everyone caucusing, and um, thank you to everyone who brought us to this point where we're going into Iowa. You know, as the front runner. Now, um, one last thing before I go, before I forget, is that I want people to understand that um, in Iowa, you can't be complacent because let's say that, you know, Bernie Sanders really is leading, but uh, Joe Biden comes in a close second, but, you know, uh, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar supporters don't reach that viability threshold of 15%. They then have to make their second choice. They can opt for Biden. So that's why I, I just, I can't emphasize this enough. If you are in Iowa, you cannot leave. You have to stay there. This is a commitment, and it's it's going to be grueling. Take a lunch. Uh, like <laughs> you've got to understand that we are we are counting on you. But um, good luck, and thank you all for caucusing for Bernie Sanders. I don't know what else to say. So um, if I don't stop the video now, I will just ramble incoherently. This whole video is probably incoherent. Let's do it.